Hey guys, how's it going? Now we've all been looking for great WhatsApp alternatives and it's obvious that Signal Private Messenger has emerged as the first choice for a lot of you guys. Now we've already done a video talking about some of the first things that you could change inside your Signal Private Messenger to make it feel right at home. But that's never going to be enough. I mean, there's still a lot of features inside Signal Messenger that you guys might not be aware of. And that's why this video exists. This is one from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about seven of the best and the coolest tips and tricks for Signal Private Messenger that every new user should know about. Let's get started. First off, like all the other chat applications out there and pretty much every new application in general also, Signal Private Messenger comes with support for dark theme as well. To enable the dark mode on Android and iPhones, simply open the Signal app. Now tap on the profile picture icon at the top left corner. Tap on appearance and then choose dark under the theme section. Okay, now similar to Facebook messages and Instagram, Signal Messenger also gives you the option to react to certain messages with the help of direct emojis. To react to a message, touch and hold it until you see the reaction menu. Just tap on the emoji that you want to react with. Additionally, you can tap on the three dot icon at the end of the menu to open the full list of emojis. Now conversations can often get quite confusing if you're conversing about multiple topics, especially happening in a group chat. Well, that is why the code feature exists. We've been using it on WhatsApp and thankfully Signal comes with support for that as well, using both gestures or simple tapping. To do that, just swipe right on the message that you want to put. Alternatively, touch and hold the message and then select the reply icon from the menu. Okay, now there are times when we accidentally send a wrong message and we just wish that we could delete it before the recipient actually reads that. Well, thankfully, Signal Private Messenger allows you to delete or unsend messages up to three hours. Touch and hold the message that you want to unsend. Now tap on the delete icon and select delete for everyone. And that's it. Your message should now be deleted or unsent. Now Signal is known for its privacy features and in that aspect only, Signal also allows you to blur faces or certain parts of an image that you might be sharing with your friends within a chat. To do so, attach the photo in the Signal chat. Once you are on the image editing screen, tap on the blur icon at the top. Draw on the area wherever you want to blur the image. Alternatively, toggle on the blur faces option at the bottom if you want Signal to automatically blur just the faces. Okay, so with Signal, you can basically decide whether you want the images that you send in your chat to remain in the chat or disappear once the recipient has seen it. So to send a one-time viewable image, attach the image normally as you would do with the plus icon. Then on the image editing screen, you will see an infinite icon at the bottom left corner. Tap on it. The icon will now change to 1x, which means that the image will be automatically deleted after seeing it once by the viewer. Now, several people use their WhatsApp or chat applications as a note-taking app as well. I mean, yeah, there are people like that. And sometimes even I do that. I just message my other number to basically use it as a note-taking app. Thankfully, with Signal, you do not have to rely on some other contact or a very tedious process because it comes with its own note-taking feature. On an Android device, just tap on the new messages icon, then tap on note to self. Alternatively, if you're using an iOS device, tap on the search bar at the top of the chat list, then search for note to self. Tap on it to open the chat. Now you can type anything and send it. The chat will appear in the chat list and you can use it to directly write your notes. Alternatively, we also have another dedicated video talking about some of the best note-taking apps for Android devices, which you can check out if you want a more feature-rich note-taking app. That's a very good video and will be super helpful for you guys. So yeah, go ahead and check that out as well. And well, that was it. If this video helped you, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Also, if you have any more queries around Signal Messenger, make sure to comment down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.